We're definitely in the home stretch now, people. We're down to auto trim. And this is the thing that's going to correct my quad drifting around like it did yesterday. Wind, of course, has strong effect on your copter and will push it around. Well, really? However, you may also find that while flying in stabilized mode, even in a windless environment, your copter tends to always drift away in the same direction. This can largely be corrected using the save trim or automatic trim functions. Note, for most users, this procedure is not necessary because the accelerate accelerometer calibration does a good job of setting the trim values. Well, some of us hold those platforms up in the air when we click here after you, you know how it does, it works. When you're over here in the setup and you're doing your accelerometer calibration and you click here and it says put vehicle level and click done. You do that and it says put vehicle on its left side and click done. Put vehicle on its right side. We all know how accelerometer calibrations work. I frequently do those in the air just because I can hold it level to my eyesight. And as soon as it says, I usually have Pam sit here and click or somebody else if they're available sit here and click. While I hold the platform the way it was. To tell you the God's awful truth, on this platform, I connected the Mavlink via Wi-Fi to Mission Planner and stood in the middle of the room and did both my accelerometer calibration while Pam clicked the buttons and told me which step I was on. And I also did that same thing when I ca uh, did the compass calibration. Telemetry connections are beautiful things. It's an invisible USB cable to the platform. I just have so much love for telemetry, period. And I want to continue that love in the air 30 miles away with the telemetry connection as if I had a USB cable to it to mission plan or cue ground control or just a telemetry recording software. That's what I like. I'm going to try to get as close to it as possible. But if you're calibrating accelerometers by holding any platform in the air, you're probably not going to do the best job. And what you're going to find is when you get out in the field is these platforms uh, drift around like they did yesterday. This is a level on my bench. You see what I mean? Oops. You see what I mean about my house not being level? That's my bench. This is the floor near the top of the basement. This is the floor midway through the basement. This is the floor at the bottom of the basement. I've never gone upstairs to check how level the upstairs is, but the whole story here is, is Accelerometer calibrations aren't perfect and the little imperfections frequently show up in this part of the tune and are taken out in this part. Of I'm going to hit this real hard so here back because at the uh, I made this video twice already. This is the third time. I'm trying to get it under 54 minutes <laughs> for an auto trim. <laughs> okay, so... To do this real quick, they want you to set a switch on your radio which goes above 1800. That's the threshold for this function to work. They tell you to set it over here. This screen is long gone. <laughs> this documentation is out of date. Save trim is what they want you to set. They tell you to set it here. Uh, and then they tell you how to fly it real quickly. I, I came over into Mission Planner. And where I had my 
auto tune right here RC11 I set that to save trim uh, they're telling you to do it here on 7 I've already got VTX power on 7 for my build 11 isn't even in this list so I just flipped over there to of course you could come down here also and go RC 11 here and set it here you can see 5 here is save trim so they tell you to go out with your channel 7 switch in the off position or low fly the copper in stabilize mode and use your transmitters roll and pitch trim knobs to get it flying level and stationary more or less land put your throttle to zero release the roll and pitch sticks switch the channel 7 switch high for at least one second the words trim save should appear in the mission planners flight data screen messages tab reset your transmitter roll pitch trims back to the center and fly again it should be level now if not repeat steps three four and five we're going to go fly that real quick we'll talk about this part i'm just going to tell you straight up i cannot find this in there anywhere uh there's just a bunch on this page i cannot find on in the software in the firmware so we're going with the switch it's nearly impossible to get rid of all drift so that the copter remains completely motionless without any input no nah, never is they vary from moment to moment a little extra dust getting the shaft of one of them it'll slow down three rpms and cause a little problem trim can all be uh, also be updated by setting the vehicle level connecting mission planner and using the calibrate level button yeah that's real simple to do please note that making the hud level while the vehicle is on the ground does not necessarily mean it won't drift horizontally while flying because of other small frame issues including the flight controller not being perfectly level on the frame and slightly tilted motors etc 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 so they're saying really if you could put this thing on a very 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 flat surface perfectly flat surface that probably this one little function right here would take care of everything calibrate level click right there so let's go fly it's so windless today there is not a breath of air anywhere. I think I'm going to try to fly this flight here at the house. <laughs> okay, we're set up here. Telemetry tire capturing uh, video. The video receiver is actually on the back side here. This is the video receiver right here with a linear and a pagoda antenna on it 5.8 that's just going down to the ground station the ground station is sitting here with mission planner connected via wi-fi mavlink is running through i guess i could minimize this for right now couldn't i i'm just ready to click go uh, Mavlink is running. Sat count is eight. I'm ready to record. Not showing this too good. Sorry about that. Yep. Ready to record the flight camera and the ground station by clicking that button. I'm not going to fly in this part of the yard. I'm going to go <clears throat> up onto the hill here. and fly from right here today because this gives me a more of a look at the sky you know I'm completely surrounded by trees there's no getting away from that but at least now if the platform goes back over the 
the roof line. See, if I'm here and it goes behind me over the roof line, I'm just sunk. I have no idea where it went. It's still not got any return to home or anything in it. Uh, it's fairly controllable, is just my opinion. So, with me standing here to do this, I'll have a large section of sky where if it tries to get away, I think I'm more able to do something about it. So, I'm going to switch from this cell phone to my hat cam. Okay, this is the second flight. I forgot my hat cam for the first one. So I went inside and got my cell phone on a tripod instead of the hat cam. See, this is fine. It doesn't have to be high. We'll just let it see what happens. I'll start moving the trims a little bit to the right. Try a little too much. A little away from me. We'll push it that way a little bit and then stop it. So we're going a little bit too much to the right. Oops. Okay. One more to the right. Bring it back, stop it. Now see what it wants to do. You know, for a non-loiter, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll put two in back to the left. Bring it over. Stop it. Okay, let's see what happens. That's pretty darn good right to left. But it seems to be going away just a little. So we'll put two in. We'll bring it back. We'll stop it, and we'll see what it does now. Still going away a little. Two more. I'm gonna bring it back, up a little. A little too far forward still. You know, for just a straight up altitude hold hover, that's pretty damn good. So I think I'm gonna take that, to tell you the truth. 
I'm just going to go over and land. See if I can hit the landing pad this time. Nope. <laughs> and flip that switch high for just a second. That should have done it. Now I can disarm. There we are, disarmed. Switch is still high right here. Just glad I didn't pull this one. This is emergency motor cut off, but again, we have to have both of these switches working in tandem before it'll actually cut off. A little extra safety, not perfect. Okay, let's go. So now to shorten this video even more, I'm gonna tell you what happened after the flight because I've made this video twice before and I went in and showed what happened. I recorded the uh, ground station successfully. Mavlink stayed connected the whole flight. Wasn't 10, 20 feet away from my radio, but it is my first successful Mavlink connection off the bench. Um, I also recorded the camera, the flight camera. Also recorded the uh, 4K from the Run Cam Orange. That won't give us any telemetry information except for visual. That's a form of telemetry still. Um, I didn't see that this worked. I may have screwed up and performed it in altitude hold instead of stabilize but I'm never going to be in stabilize mode with the stick centered trying to keep it there I don't think I don't know so I look through the recording of the ground control station and there was nothing on the screen about trim saved never seemed to happen I looked through the flight camera where it would come across there. Never seemed to have happened. I looked through the data flash, flash logs. Doesn't seem to have happened. I went in and checked my channel 11. It does go to 2010 PWM, so it is above 1800. It's coming up on the correct channels. I don't know why it didn't work correctly, but here's the thing. Did you see how it was flying, even in altitude hold? Now, I give you, this was a windless day. They happen very seldom. I really wish this afternoon I had chose today. I've got six airplanes to maiden behind me who've, that's never been thrown in the air. <laughs> I really want to be working on airplanes, but I can do so much with this platform as a test bed if I can just finish the tune on it, go back to doing my last Sky Hunter, and then start maintaining those airplanes is my plan. But the long and the short of it is you saw how it was hovering in altitude hold here. Come on. In loiter, this thing will be locked in. I really don't think I have to worry about this too much. I'm going to go back and visit it again because I want to see what happened. I'm going to fly it and stabilize instead of altitude hold. I don't even know if I can keep it in the air. I'll have to fly it a little higher. But I'm also going to have to worry about up and down much more than I did with this flight. So... Plus, like I say, it's, I don't think it needs much in this area. And it needs so little, I can fly each flight and use the manual trims. I'm not going to be still. I'm not going to be hovering. I'm not going to be worrying about it drifting around in altitude hold too much. So I'm going to go on with the build. When I do revisit this I will post another video about it, but I'm not going to get bogged down. I did this twice before, and I could not get the video under 54 minutes. And uh, 
this is kind of my solution to actually get it out the door if that makes sense to you. And if you don't agree with me and, and you know things I don't, which you certainly can, uh, tell me. No, man, you better go back and get that one right because that one's really important. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Uh, those are the kinds of things that's bit me in life, but I just do getting bogged down for a whole day on this is just, I can't do it. Like I say, in loiter, that thing would be there. You couldn't pull it away from that spot. And I think the up and down is going to be pretty darn good on the loiter, too. We're going to get that to soon. So I'm going to go ahead and render this video <laughs> and publish it. I actually had one on the YouTube channel today, and I think I might even have made it public. And I pulled it back down because it was just too long, just too long for this, this topic. All right. Thank you, guys.